With their debut album Churn about to be released in Europe and Japan, Wellington's ballistic guitar outfit are at the moment working on a new album for us at home. We got together to find out some of the what's and why's of Shehad. We sort of had been around for about a year, so a year to be gigging and um, hiding from the police when they came into the pubs and stuff because we were only about 17, 16 when we started. Um, Gerald, our manager, took me along one night to a skeptics gig and um, it just blew my mind and, and I'd realised pretty much what we'd been missing um, and that was pretty much our own culture, you know. We were so into the, the big sound thing for such a long time that we've actually, we actually ignored any possibility of bringing it down to another level to actually take it up to another level, which is of course what makes something sound really big, yeah. is to be able to make it really small as well. Genuinely. Yeah. I like a hook and I like melody and I, um, but I also yeah and I like to accent things musically which are starting to pump you know then the lyrics will pump you know I like my lyrics to you know sit in with the music you know. The sample of Happy Meal, before Happy Meal, um, whereas it's what's it called, you know, <laughs> that sound of me. Who likes that? Oh, this song. No brand names, no brand names. But it, I mean, it's, it's something from our childhood, which is something stuck there. We actually remembered that. We didn't have that sample. We remembered it, and then when it came to doing that song, we thought, that advert is so yeah. disgusting. <laughs> Here we go, let's find it, let's find it and sample it. We found it and sampled it. And it's perfect because it's it sums up what Happy Meal's about, which yeah. is just, do you think we're that stupid, you know? Really, I mean, ad advertising is patronising as far as I'm concerned. Thing, you know, compared to a lot of the other stuff on yeah, tune, which yeah. hammers you down, you know, and it really, you know, which is something we still love, you know, <laughs> but Stations was good because it was like a breath of fresh yeah, air, exactly. you know, it was and just the whole feeling of it was, was completely different to the rest of the album and the rest of the stuff, and yeah, we'd just look at each other and we're going to go, oh, should we play Stations now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Groovy and it's just a lot more personal, but not not in, it is in a lyrical sense, but also in, a, in just a musical sense. Like what we're playing is more what we're expressing on our instruments, as a, as I was talking about, um, not not relying on on external effects to, to give you the, those sounds to be able to do them yourself and recording that energy. Right, not yeah. just playing the drums, playing the sides of the drums, playing everything, to, anything to get an atmosphere going. Yeah. yeah? And, but using what you've got, you know? and it's really good. It's really, it's quite invigorating. You know? Yes. Yeah. 